What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. We are going to be going over some of my favorite tactics for targeting white perch. A lot of guys like to use small jigs and spinners and we do too, but one of the best baits we've found to work is live minnows. Now we have access to a small creek uh, that we set our minnow trap in. So usually we crunch up some either uh, blue crab or any other type of meat or something that the minnows like. Throw the minnow trap out and it doesn't take long before it is jock full of minnows. So we usually get about four to five dozen if we're going to go out for an outing, throw them in a minnow bucket and then head on to the water. But we will get into the details of how we fish them here in a minute. But thanks again for being here and with that we're going to go ahead and get on into the video. What's going on guys? Out here doing some perch fishing today and today's setup is just a jig head under a bobber and we're hooking a little bullhead or mud minnow on that jig head through the lips. Uh, the reason we do this, one, the jig head we're either going to use a 132nd or 116th. I believe this one's a 116th. Uh, that's going to keep that minnow down when there's a school of perch underneath of him. He can't swim up to the top. Uh, it's going to keep them down where that school is. And then the weighted bobber up here, that's going to help you cast. Uh, you're not going to have a light bobber flying through the wind and everything. It's also going to help that bobber sit nice and uh, straight. We're out here in windy conditions, some waves. Your bobber's not going to roll around. It's just going to sit still. So that's the setup. Big perch love these minnows. Try it out next time. Now, when we go perch fishing in the summer months, we're typically targeting these fish in the shallows. So we're gonna be wanting to look for any docks, old pilings, uh, rock jetties, any type of nearshore structure that these fish will be schooling around. Now, when you fish the rivers, there's a lot of docks and these fish aren't always gonna be on all of them. So you might be asking, you know, what specifically should you be looking for? And we found that these fish uh, tend to congregate near the older docks. So if you can see some pilings that look kind of old, worn, dilapidated, those are the areas you're gonna wanna key in on. When you're fishing rock jetties, you kind of just have to go along and fish different areas of them and find where the fish are. Uh, if you catch one, there's likely others nearby. These fish tend to school up. So that's what we typically do. And uh, you guys should give it a try the next time that you're out. There's one. Got one? Yeah. Everything. It's a nice one. And I still got my minnow. Look at that. You can see it's great structure. You got all these individual pylons and then the rocks on the back side. Perch. Whoa, whoa, I got another one from right that same spot. Hang on, <laughs> he's boat way. Like nice perch. So. Jordan got a nice one. I got a nice one. There he is. There. Oh, pop it, pop it. There he is. You got it. Oh, get him. He's yeah, on. he's there. He is. It's shallow here, I think. That's why I didn't take it down. Oh, dude, that's a big one. There he is. Doubled. Nice one. He inhaled my minnow, dude. It's all the way down his throat. Splash money. Ooh. That's right where I had to hit. Nice. Big one. Yep. Yep. Very. Yeah. It's funny how you can tell almost like right away whether it's a perch or not. Nice one right there. 
Dude, hit that right away. Yeah, that's a, I mean, that's, that's, it like welted me already. Huh. Oh. So now that we've shown you guys how to catch perch with live minnows, I want to go over what you should have in your tackle box when you're fishing for perch. Uh, and this is going to be a you know grab and go tackle box that you can throw in your tackle bag or just carry with you when you're going to fish. It makes it really easy if you need to retie or switch out baits. You're going to want to have some small crankbaits, some rattle traps, some spinners, any type of small hard bait that you can cast and retrieve uh, near the structure. It's also important to have plenty of bobbers if you're going to be fishing uh, live minnows. You need a lot of those. You can do shad darts, uh, but jig heads are going to be what you really want to have plenty of. And we typically have a few different sizes. Usually go, you know, 1 32nd, 1 16th ounce are probably our two most popular. But you want to have a few different options depending on the weather conditions. So you can use those jig heads, you know, for tying on under a bobber to fish live minnows. Or a lot of times we'll tie a double twisty rig to throw in the shallows and fish near docks. Most of the local tackle shops will have all of these in stock. So it's not going to cost you that much to get a starter perch box going and it'll give you a lot of options for going out and targeting these fish. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks that we used for perch fishing, specifically, you know, using those live minnows. And they tend to catch big perch and a lot of them. So uh, if we can, we prefer to use live minnows when we're perch fishing. Now that's not always possible, but we try and do it as much as we can. And uh, the summertime is a great time to catch some minnows. They're plentiful in the creeks. All you gotta do is throw out a minnow trap. You'll catch them in no time. And then take a minnow bucket, head to your favorite perch hole, and start catching them up. So that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Been trying to put out a lot of fishing content and we are just around the corner from hunting season. So I'm getting very excited. Gonna have a lot of good content coming out. We just passed 6,000 subscribers to the channel. So I'm really trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. You guys have been a big part of that. Thank you for the support. Until we get out on our next outdoor adventure, you guys have a great day.